The Man of Steel finally gets metal as we have a look at the Mattel Injustice 2 die-cast Superman. Imprisoned after the fall of the regime, Superman must now forge alliances with old enemies to save the world once again. Let's take the tape measure to figure out how tall the Man of Steel stands. We'll start from the bottom, work our way up to the top, stopping it right there. The figure stands 6.9 inches, could very well have been 7 inches tall as well, but the Measuretron has caught it at 6.9. We'll just run with that for the time being. Centimeters, let's switch that over, because there's some people after all that follow their figures in centimeters. 17.6 centimeters is how tall Superman stands. And speaking of standing, how's that for a segue? Superman comes included with this DC display stand, a really nice display stand. I kind of wish we would have seen these with other releases as well. Even just sell a whole pack of these, I would be buying them in a heartbeat. There's nothing really much to be said for it. You got two peg holes, even though Superman really stands fine on his own. Two peg holes on the top there, two pegs, I should say, on the top there, in between the D and in between the C. The D and the C of DC is sort of etched in there, so you can see that there's a little chasm, a little outline there, and it also could be said for the same on the outside there too. Again, I like the display base quite a bit. I know it's just a black circular display base with DC on it, but I do actually like it quite a bit. Superman really doesn't need it. It seems as if even a force of kryptonite propelled against this figure couldn't even knock him over because the figure is so heavy in metal. Still, though, if you do want to use the display stand, you can use it, and like I said, the, just, the little pegs are there if you want to make use of those. Being that these figures are also comprised of all die-cast metal, or mostly die-cast metal, I think it's actually the shoulder area, possibly the arms, definitely the torso, definitely the legs, also uh, gets a steeped increase in price. If you are picking this one up, for example, the multiverse figures really are generally about $25 to $26 here in Canada. If you want to get this bad boy for yourself, you'd be reaching into your wallet a little bit more than just that, as this guy sets you back at a whopping $34.99. To be fair, Marvel's select figures usually are about $34.99, and I guess that's on average what you would expect to pay for those. But generally, you get much bigger figures, and in all honesty, much nicer figures as well. Kind of makes you wonder what I'm going to say about this figure. Okay, so let's talk Turkey. Let's talk Superman. He does have a cloth cape. I feel as if Mattel used the cheapest material that they possibly can. No, nope, I scratched that. Scratch that from the record. I would like to rewind my, my comment on that. They used what looks to be the second cheapest fabric they could possibly find. The most cheapest still remains to be that sort of paper uh, cape that they used for some of their Batman v Superman figures, which were atrocious. I feel like this one isn't that much of a step up. To be fair, though, at least it's it's something that's malleable. Like, it's soft. It's Of course, it drapes naturally, unlike paper does. But it does really look cheap. Why could they not have used that sort of faux suede? You know, we've seen those uh, capes before. Even like, for example, the Superpowers multiverse figures had, like, cloth capes. But they didn't look like this. They were a lot nicer than this cheap quality. I'd have to go back and even actually look at the Superman. I'm certain the Superman didn't have this cape, but go back and have a look at it. The cape is plugged into place via the top two ports here. It's sort of just sandwiched in there as if they just pried the torso away, tucked this the cape in, and then closed it shut again. On the front, I'm guessing this is supposed to be more of the cape. I don't know what's happening here. It doesn't even look anything like the cloth, but... Why they couldn't have just tucked it into the front. But again, I get it. They wanted to do this as simple as they possibly could. Prying the torso away is a lot easier than finding a place on the front to slit it. Even though, really, they could have put a slit there in the metal, a slit there in the metal, 
tucked the cape in and then glued it on the inside of the front torso and you would have gotten the same effect without it looking like that's metal and then that's cheap fabric. I digress. I want to bring in the packaging here for a second. That's something I normally do, but I want to show you the head sculpt on what we were supposed to get and then the head sculpt of what we ultimately got. I don't know really what's happened here. This head sculpt, the one that's on the box, not only is Superman got blue eyes, I guess they I guess they were going with the heat vision on his eyes, but his eyes are ultimately red versus blue here. The head sculpts look like they could, in theory, in theory, be the same. And it's just paint that has destroyed, destroyed what this head sculpt could have potentially been. Or they just simply have changed the head sculpt along the way. By the way, I don't know if you can tell this, but I like this head sculpt more than I like this head sculpt right here discarding the box, throwing it into the incinerator because I'm never going to need that again. Looking at the head sculpt, it is rough. I think the way it was sculpted wasn't terrible, but the way it was painted is embarrassing. It's, you can sort of see where the way they've airbrushed the features on them, it looks like they just ran out of ink about halfway, three quarters of the way past over the eye just sort of abruptly stops or it looks like he's got ghost eyes they just sort of start vanishing off the side of his face um, I do not like the head sculpt one bit I think it's a it's a really bad looking Superman head sculpt and it kind of looks like something you would expect to find on a knockoff even though like really by the nature of the way that the costume is designed you could easily short of this being of course metal find this at something like a knockoff packaging you know if you went to a flea market or something like that up up and the way superman or up up in the way guy is maybe what they could call him coloring wise he's got some nice okay let's talk pauses for every put down let's have two put ups some positives here is being that this is also metal he feels heavy he feels substantial versus if this guy was all plastic i would even feel worse for the fact that i spent 34.99 on a figure like this being that he is metal you get that little extra weight happening for it and in fairness the paint on the metal is actually really good some nice lighter shades and darker shades of metallic blue we've got some nice gold there on his front emblem or his belt buckle there and nice gold on the side there everything is nice and raised so it's not just we molded this and then we just decide to paint okay this side's okay that's blue okay that's that's some dark blue at the very least all the stuff that's supposed to be painted is raised so some care has been put into it closed fists are what you're getting ka-chow that's all you're getting ka-chow um, wish he could have had some swappable hands at the very least, but it's not really like he comes with anything necessarily. He just comes with closed fists. The Superman emblem is nice. That's also raised, and you can see that they painted that in gold the same way that they painted the buckle in on gold, and the little side triangles, whatever they may be, are also painted there in gold. But I do not like the head sculpt one bit. That head sculpt is poor. Oof. It could very easily be one of the worst Superman head sculpts I have ever seen. And I've been doing this thing, this thing, if you will, very vigorous with the bunny ears there. I've been doing this for a while, and I have to say that it's definitely one of the worst Superman head sculpts. It's really bad. Let's talk some more positives. Okay, he's got pickles on the undersides of his feet. Like I said, he stands fine. I mean, being that he's metal, he's not going to go anywhere. I think, though, the Batman is far superior. This would be the prime opportunity that I would put the Batman right here, or for that matter, I could also put it right here. Unfortunately, I don't know where I put him. Unprepared is what some people could really claim this as being. I didn't know where I put the Batman, so we're just going to have to use our imagination. Or you can go back. There you go. There's an idea. You can go back and watch the review which actually I praise that figure quite a bit more because he was armored up Batman. To be fair, this is armored up Superman, but I think the die cast, you can write it off a little bit more excusable when it comes to the Batman being that he's just a little bit more, he kind of looks more like Iron Man. He's got weight and stuff to him. The only real sell for this is the fact that you're getting this guy in all metal. 
If this was all plastic, the, the figure, I would say, is, is a total pass. But there's novelty, I suppose, to the fact that he does have some metal components, a lot of metal components, but still that really doesn't save a figure that's got such a bad head sculpt like this one. Speaking of head sculpt, boy, boy, you just tore that one to shreds. Head rotates all the way around. It's just on a ball joint. Head hinges up and down. I think, obviously, the head is plastic. The torso is metal. The arms feel like they're metal. They have, like, a cool touch to them. Legs feel like they are metal. They're weighted. Definitely have a weighted feel. Uh, he has a waist swivel. His arms hinge out. He has a swivel on the bicep, a hinge on the elbow, and a swivel on the hand. Legs go out. There you go plastic clips on the inside that's not something that's going to be really good i mean you got weight in the metal yeah the, these do feel like metal and then the clips are plastic that's gonna that's gonna end well forward and back on the legs bend at the knee and nothing in his rather neatly sculpted boots there there's a there's a put up as a whole i don't know how i feel about this superman it would be certainly one of those cases where i have two categories of collecting one is the category I collect stuff so I can review it so that you guys can see some of the stuff that's available on toy shelves. It's the burden I bear so that you guys can see some of the stuff that's out there. And then there is the collection that I would personally pick up if I wasn't doing rabid rabbit ears. If I wasn't doing this YouTube thing, I would pick up that collection. This Superman falls into this collection right here this nexus that is the stuff that I would pick up for solely reviewing. Price point really is a big detractor for this. I get for the fact that he does have metal to him, but the head sculpt is, is atrocious. Maybe the head sculpt is good underneath all of that, but the, the, the headpiece, the way it was painted, I think is really what destroys this figure for me. Oh, and by the way, if you were thinking that you could use the display stand to get a little bit more creative with the way that you display Injustice 2 Superman, <laughs> you fool. No, unfortunately, and this gives me opportunity to discuss this in final looks, the pegs are smaller than the peg holes of Superman's feet. In other words, ergo, if you put Superman's feet on top of the pegs, they're not really holding the pegs as sort of they're just sitting inside the holes of his feet. Yes. Yes, there's the problem. So unfortunately, being that he is weighted, it does mean that the figure is going to topple over. I'm just giving you FYI notice now in case this guy falls over in final looks. So let's hope not, because then I would have to say the whole thing all over again. I personally don't like, pardon me, breaking my train of thought here. I don't like this figure. I liked Batman. Yeah, I did. But Injustice Batman in the die cast was a nice touch. It was something that even in that review, I mentioned that because he's extra weighted, he either falls into the category of the unneeded gimmick, being that he was made out of metal. But I think that that Batman worked a lot better than this Superman right here. Ultimately, the sculpt has to be good too. You can't just sell a figure with, well, we've got it in metal. That's fantastic. You could have a turd in metal. Doesn't mean that the figure or the turd in that instance would be any bit better. Ultimately, you still have to look at the figure for what it is. And what it is here is a decent enough looking figure with a really bad looking head sculpt. Pick this one up if you like the novelty. I'm doing the bunny ears here. Pick it up if you have the novelty or you like the novelty of it being metal. But I think if this guy was made out of plastic, I think we would have a much very different opinion about this because you would only have really just the figure sculpt to get the opinion across of whether the figure is good or not. So metal can't be the deciding factor, even though that probably is the reason why you want to pick this one up for yourself. I personally would pass. Picked it up only to review. I picked up the Batman because I liked the Batman. I picked up the Superman, which I also might add, was a considerable delay from the time that we had a look at Batman. Every time I went into Walmart where I picked up the Batman, never had the Superman. He's only starting to show up right now. So I guess Mattel was a little bit behind when it came to eventually releasing this guy. Total pass, if you ask me. Total pass. Don't have to say this again because he's still standing. Oh, now he's going to fall over. We're going to wrap this up real quick before he falls over. Today we were having a look, though, at a rather disappointing Mattel. This was Injustice 2 Diecast Superman. There, we're almost finished. We are almost finished. If you guys hit, haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, what are you waiting for? More videos will be coming your way. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.